previously. So summon evil sword yeah. Mandragora. <laughs> yeah, I can already tell. <laughs> On Progression Series Season 2. The Dark Arm Dragon. You have a response for it? I do it? have the response, though, yes. Okay, I mean, at least you got the cleanup duty, so that's good. I'm dead. Oh, man, the gadgets, bro. It's honestly MSC. not a good matchup for you. No, it's not. That right. set are way beyond any of the cards Yu-Gi-Oh! has seen up until this day. In this series, both Nim Nim and myself will be opening 24 booster packs or one box of a core Yu-Gi-Oh! booster set. We will build a deck and play a best two out of three, and the winner will receive a small prize to upgrade their deck. However, in each episode, we will open another box of the next set that was released moving in chronological order, constantly upgrading our decks before dueling each other at the end of each episode. But this time around, we'll be introducing side sets, a new banning system, and plenty of other fun surprises that you'll just have to watch to find out. This is the Yu-Gi-Oh! Progression Series Season 2. If you want 5% off any singles or sealed product, click the affiliate links in the description and use code SEMO5. And clicking the TCG Player affiliate link before you shop helps support us to provide you with more amazing content. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to one of the biggest episodes of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Progression Series Season 2. This is also one of the biggest sets of Season 1, but I'm happy that we are finally able to return to one of the most impactful sets in Yu-Gi-Oh!'s history, Lord of the Tachyon Galaxy. Alex gets to go over this set since he lost last episode. I believe I went over it last season. You'll be able to see there's tons of incredibly impactful archetypes and cards released in this set. It's crazy. We pulled a ridiculous spread of the Dragon Lords. I believe one of each in the last episode. It was kind of crazy. Let's see if we could repeat that luck today but i have a wheel in front of me for hidden arsenal 7 which is really good because we ended up not pulling great in it if i can get myself an ultra a secret or a starlight i'll be able to grab myself an additional secret rare most notably Lavalval all chain which i missed getting the first time of course always will take a starlight or anything else i am going to click the wheel one time ladies and gentlemen one time and we'll see what we get let's see if we get anything crazy one click i'm feeling it i'm feeling it I, okay, maybe that wasn't the right move. <laughs> I got the worst thing on the wheel, the wild card rare, which equates to a super rare from Hidden Arsenal. Oh my god, I don't even know if there's anything great. So the one thing, if we got a secret rare, like I said, or anything above that, we would have been able to get a chain, which is incredibly important to a lot of strategies. Probably one of the best XYZs in the game of all time. Um, unfortunately, we aren't that lucky. We have to look on this side of the, uh, <laughs> of the card list here. I don't know if there's anything really too great. Constellar and um, Evil Storm are completely off the map because we just didn't pull good enough in the secret rare category. No Infestation Pandemic to grab off of Ophion or Thunderbirds to pair with it. And then, of course, no Kaos on our second go around for the secret rares for Constellars. That's integral to be able to make uh, Pleiades. And I still don't have access to them now. So I think the one card I'm going to take is I did end up getting two copies of Tin Goldfish. I will be brushing up on the third. I think the third 10 goldfish might come up. We obviously been playing gadgets at least once, twice, maybe three times. So if I decide to double back on it, having the third goldfish is almost an auto include. <laughs> Don't think there's that. Oh, actually, you know what? Gem Knight Seraphonite. Do I have one of those? I'll have a Gem Knight Seraphonite? How do I? Oh my god, this Hidden Arsenal 7 opening because probably the worst thing that I've ever seen. I'm going to be honest, actually. I really want a Seraphonite because... When paired with a card like Brilliant Fusion later on down the line, it is the go-to target. Being able to dump a light from the deck from the graveyard, pretty much anything, that seems really good. Two tin goldfish is great too, but I think I'd rather have at least one copy of something to be able to give me access to the extra deck. Um, I'm going to change it. I'm going to take a copy of Gem Knight Seraph Knight, a super rare, and I'm going to put it in my collection. I'm shocked I did not get one of those. <laughs> it's so crazy. We'll take it. It is what it is. Put in the collection. Alex? Take it away, buddy. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have a big episode today. Lord of the Tachyon Galaxy. Gage is on the verge of possibly tying up the progression series. This episode is going to be a bloodbath. And it all starts here, of course, with today's set, Lord of the Tachyon Galaxy. If you're not familiar with this set, buckle up, because it's going to be one hell of a ride. This set changed a lot, both for modern Yu-Gi-Oh, or I should say, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh at the time, as well as the progression series in season one. 
Now, I imagine it's going to have a similar effect in Season 2. So, let's start with the uh, super rare cards here, because there is a few to talk about. I mentioned in the previous episode, Constellar Sombre and Evil Swarm Kirkion. These are like respective wolf barks for uh, either archetype. I would happily take an Evil Swarm Kirkion to support my Evil Swarm deck that I pulled in the previous episode, but there's also Medulce Hoot Cake and Medulce Knights in here as well. Uh, my Medulce core is like borderline playable, and I think if I play Hoot Cake, I actually have a playable Medulce deck, so that's pretty crazy. But there's even good stuff like Sacred Sword of Seven Stars, Fire Formation Gyoko's like a, a very bad MST, but it's a Fire Formation, so like for Fire Fist, that's pretty cool. Like the super rares are not bad in this set at all. The rares, though, is what everyone is here to talk about. The Dragon Rulers release in the set. Of course, we have Redox, Title Blaster, and Tempest, just shifting the landscape for Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, for the foreseeable future, because these cards were printed probably 10 years ahead of their time, and they will continue to dominate in the progression series for quite some time. It is interesting because we do have bans this time around, and I'm curious to see if any of these cards will incur bans, but even so, it's not going to be exactly that easy because just banning one doesn't really stop the deck, and uh, we see that through multiple banless iterations as well, and uh, we'll get to that point if we get there, though. We also have Batlin Boxer Lead Yoke uh, for the Batlin Boxer strategy, which is housed within this set as well, so, I mean, there is more than just Dragon Rulers here that we're looking for. Also, I don't know if I'm crazy. The artwork on the website looks a bit blurry or pixelated today. So I'm not sure if that's a glitch, but I, I, I swear that's not me. We're going to skip on past the ultimates and get to the ultra rare. Some decent cards here. Gauntlet Launcher to generic rank six that just pops stuff. Neo Galaxy Eyes Tachyon Dragon is a beast of a card. Constellar Omega is just like a good generic uh, light rank four option as well. The ultras aren't like fantastic, but they're fine. The secrets though, it just keeps getting better. Mecha Phantom Beast Draco Sack if the Dragon Rulers weren't enough. Of course, we have Totem Bird in here as well. Spellbook of Judgment. Uh, obviously, Spellbook is not playable in the progression series, but obviously Draco Sack is if one of us happens to pulls it. And then coming on down here to the commons, there is just some viable stuff that we're going to be looking for here. Of course, the Batlin Boxers all debut in this set. We have Radius the Half Moon Dragon and Parsec the Interstellar Dragon if we want to go for any rank 8 shenanigans. If you guys did not watch the sealed showdown for Lord of the Tachyon Galaxy, we did this set sealed and this was actually a blast because there were so many different things that we could do. King of the Feral Imps comes in here at common. Shark Fortress is in here at common. There's Fire Fist support. Like, the, the baby dragon rulers are in here too. Like, this set just has everything. I mean, talk about a core set. I wish core sets always looked like this. Just from back in the day up till now, this is how you do it. This is incredible. And so before we actually get into cracking open Lord of the Tachyon Galaxy, of course, we have to open our pity packs or an Astro Pack 2. I don't think there's anything too great in here. Let's flip up the first pack and see. Avarice is neat. Hunting Ground and Hysteric Party, I think we already have. So like whatever. I think we already have Avarice too. Ulti Dragoons is cool. We're not able to play Atlantean in any capacity as far as I'm aware of, but I mean, our streak of ultimate rares and Astro Pack continues. Justice is fine. Instant Fusion, we have 5,000 copies. And uh, we have Heavy Infantry, which I think that may be our first one since it originally debuted in the Structure deck, unless it came in a different set as well. Cyber Phoenix, Stare Party, whatever. That's not what you're here for. You're here for Lord of the Tachyon Galaxy, and we're here to deliver. Let's get cracking. Lord of the Tachyon Galaxy, 24 packs. This is an extremely powerful set. I really, really hope we pull the Dragon Ruler spread again. That would be amazing. Tons of different strategies to be able to build out of that alone. Um, let's get cracking. I think a redo our ticket is definitely in our sights today if we don't pull anything good. Pack number one, Mecha Phantom Beast, Tether Wolf. Shark Fortress is actually a really sick rank 5 XYZ. I know a lot of people used to play it back in the day because it allows you to double up the attacking for a monster you control. Kind of like a Blade Armor Ninja type effect. And look, Burner already signs of things to come. Gear 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 Super Rare. Hey, I mean, that's all right. I really like the Gear Gear archetype. I don't think we ended up having a great pull of it the first time around. I'm pretty sure I would have played it earlier. This card was really good for gears back in the day, being able to bring back two of the little level three gear Gionos from your bin, summon them, and then increase the level by one to make a gear gig an X. Sick card. Really sick card, actually. That's dope. Number C105, Battlin Boxer Combo. You know what I'm talking about. This guy. He's not good. He's uh, he's one of the C105s. I... You barely play any Chaos Monsters ever. It's just too hard of a mechanic to capitalize on. Keep looking at the rare slot here. This is where all the money is, and this is my second Tether Wolf. I'm looking for Dragon Rulers all in the rare slot, which was mind-blowing back in the day, right? To have them at such an easy-to-grab um, 
rarity. Do want to point out that Leopard is actually a really good common too. Our Fire Fist setup wasn't great. We have like one Spirit in the bank, which is pretty good. You know, the bears and stuff are actually really sick. Uh, this one's really, really good. It allows you to tribute a Fire Fist. You could tribute itself and set a Fire Formation directly from the deck. So you just set Tanky from the deck. This is in your graveyard. Tanky Search Spirit. Spirit Summon. You got your ball rolling, right? Just like that. Ah, another Ultra Rim. These are really not great. Rhino as a rare and an Ultra Gualchavod. This was a TCG exclusive archetype, the Noble Knights, and this one was not great. No, <laughs> Gualchavod wasn't good. Um, I'm getting a lot of hollows, but none of them are like actually the right ones. None of them are the ones I want at all. Let's go to the next pack. <sighs> Third Tether Wolf. King of the Feral Imps is a great XYZ, you know, for gadgets. Being able to search Kage to Kage, pretty sick back in the day. 24 packs of Lord of the Tachyon Galaxy. If there is a set to use a redoer ticket, it is this one. Pack number one, but not when your first pack contains title Dragon Ruler of Waterfalls. I think we're most likely going to be wanting as many Dragon Rulers as possible, but I would preferably like to get Blaster and Redox just because Blaster is removal and Redox is essentially a monster reborn, and they have a lot of applications in other decks outside of just playing a ruler-based strategy. But title's not bad either. It's Foolish Burial. We'll take it. I also won't complain about getting Batlin Boxer Lead Yoke. Uh, we did see the Batlin Boxers make a small appearance in Prague Season 1 as well. And so if we're able to pull together a core, which we already have Spar, we have Counterpunch, we got some in the first pack as well. You know, not too bad. Gauntlet Launcher as an Ultra Rare. You know what? I'm not planning on going back to Hieratic anytime soon, but if we did, I actually have a good rank 6 to go into now. Gauntlet Launcher is an insanely powerful card. Literally just detach a material, target a monster you, your opponent controls and destroy it, and it's not once per turn. So you could just immediately pop two things. Gauntlet Launcher's nuts. I think the biggest problem is it's rank six. A second title. Okay, uh, we only have titles so far, but uh, we're, we're a quarter of the way through. There's still plenty of opportunities for more rulers. I think that's our first King of the Feral Limbs. Also, Mind Drain is just a really strong like side deck card as well that comes in at common. Just like a lot of really solid cards, even at common. Oh, there is Constellar Omega, our second Ultra Rare, or our second Hollow, I should say. Not a Constellar-specific card, because it needs level 4 lights, so it doesn't need Constellar, so we could play this in anything moving forward. Not a terrible hit. Oh, Omega, Constellar Omega. If only I pulled the Constellar package, this would have been great. That's an ultimate rare too, dude. The foils keep coming in. Once per turn during either player's turn, detach an XYZ material and all Constellars are unaffected by spells and traps. Pretty sick card. I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty powerful. Oh, Madolce Hoot Cake. Um, <laughs> I say it every time I get like an archetype specific card. This card was super, super important back in the day for Madolce. It's a dark type that I used to play all the time. Being able to banish one monster from your graveyard and special summon a Madolce from the deck was game breaking, you know? Especially when you get Angeli in the next few sets. You know, tribute Angeli, banish it with Hoot Cake. Most powerful combo in the game. That is. <laughs> that, <laughs> that is our third copy of Title. I mean, that's cool, but I kind of need more rulers than title, if I'm going to be honest. I shouldn't complain. Like, that's good. I just, I need other rulers now. We have a playset. You got to be fucking kidding me. That's four titles. How did... Four titles. I've gotten four fucking the same dragon ruler. Oh my, like... Honestly, I would prefer if it was one of each, because eventually they do get hit on the ban list anyway, right? So, like, just having one of each is good enough for the diversity. I don't need four titles! <laughs> Another Baryon's Force. Wow. Um, I have to keep stopping to talk about stuff. But Lead Yoke is sick. I really like the Battle and Boxers. They were released in this archetype, but this is one of those archetypes that when you compare it to everything else in the set, you know, the new spellbook support with Judgment, you have... Uh, Draco Sack and the Dragon Rulers. Like, Lead Yoke just seemed like minuscule in comparison to them. Altogether, a great card, though. Oh my god, finally, ladies and gentlemen, the first Dragon Ruler we've been able to pull. Tempest, the Dragon Ruler of Storms, comes up in the 14th pack. Arguably the worst Dragon Ruler because of his attribute being Wind. He does have a lot of synergy in the deck itself, being able to pitch other dragons to search additional ones. Uh, definitely, this was one of the cards that was a little bit more modal in the pure Dragon Ruler deck. Uh, it really was part of the skill expression if you knew how to use it correctly. Um, I'd love to pull the other Dragon Rulers, I'm not gonna lie. Redox, my beloved, I would love to grab it, but um, we got 10 more packs left to get those. Uh, let's hope we can bring up the luck a little bit. Oh my god. Another battle boxer. The Star Satis. He's not great either. As you can see, three level four monsters. Yep, that's about all you gotta see. Fairy Cheer Girl was pretty funny. Requiring two fairies and it allows you to just draw a card. I thought this card was better. I think a lot of people thought this card was better on release. It wasn't good at all. That is a second copy of Constellar Omega. Um... Not great. If you haven't noticed, ladies and gentlemen, we're about three quarters of the way through the opening. 
And I have four title Dragon Ruler of Waterfalls. And two Omegas, apparently. Great. I guess I have Gauntlet Launcher, but four titles. There is a secret rare, and we pull the Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Coyote. That could have been Draco Sack, which to be fair, I don't know if Draco Sack's any good if I have four fucking titles. I only have a few packs left. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if I get a fifth title knowing my luck. So let's see what happens, shall we? Ooh, another lead yoke. That's actually going to cause me to think if I want to respin this, actually. I'm not going to lie. Let, let's see what we get for the last few packs. I swear to God if this last pack has a title. Okay, so I have to think about this. So the, what I'm, what's going through my mind right now is I have two lead yoke. And yes, my dragon rulers suck because I only have blaster. Or no, title, excuse me. I only have title. But I do have two lead yoke, and I think I pulled every single Batlin boxer card. We have counterpunch, we have spar, we have glass jaw. Only two switch hitter kind of sucks. We have three headgear. We literally have the entire Batlin boxer deck, as far as I'm aware. But we don't have dragon rulers apart from title. Am I really about to keep this? What's going through my mind right now is that this could be worse. I could, I could get like two dragon rulers or I could get something similar to title where I pull four, I don't know, four blasters or something, right? Which I guess if I'm playing Batlin Boxer would be better. I've seen what happens to Greedy Gage when he respins, thinking that his pool isn't good enough. And I gotta be honest, my pool's not even that good. The only reason I'm even considering this is because I actually have a Batlin Boxer deck that's decent. I didn't pull a single super rare. I didn't pull Kirkion. I didn't pull Hoot Cake. Which though, I mean, those are like negligible, right? There's 20 different rares in this set. There's a possibility I don't pull any rule. I didn't pull three of the four rulers as it is. This is so rough. This is this is so rough. What's the upside? The upside is I can get multiple of each ruler. I can snag a Kirkion for Evil Swarm, which would be pretty good. Who cake potentially from a Dolce, but that's that's neither here nor there. It'd be good, but it's not the end of the world. The biggest thing I'm concerned with is that the rulers are so generic for so many other decks, but I could also just not get them. I went this opening not getting any of them. God, my, my biggest fear is I do this again, my ruler pool still sucks, and then I also lose the lead yokes. So then I don't even really gain anything out of this set. Wow, Sombre, oh my God. Wouldn't have that been great if I could play Constellar and I have the Omega. Oh my God, bro. Oh my God. I don't have any of the good Constellar cards. I have like maybe like a four package I can use, but I don't think I have any like Pollux's or anything either. Zero Fane's actually a pretty cool um, level four too, requiring two winged beasts. It allows to like uh, change the attacks on the field or something like that. It could get out of control pretty quick. Title, my man. Title comes in with the water. I like it. I like it. Two more left. I need a burner, a blaster, and a redox. If I can get those, that would be crazy. I've yet to keep count of the little ones either, too. I don't know if I pulled any Recton or any of the um, Lightning. That's the Tempest. I don't think I've seen those guys yet. Scramble, scramble for those Mecha, Band, and Beast, Tether Wolves we've been pulling, right? Uh, Mecha, Band, and Beast as their own archetype is not great. You saw a lot of use from Draco Sack as a generic 7, but as a full archetype, it really didn't come together. 21, another lead yoke. All right, 22. Blaster and hysteric sign. That's real. Okay, I'm going to start getting happy because I think I might keep this. That's almost one of every Dragon War so far. Blaster, we got Tidal, we got Tempest. We don't have Redox yet. How am I going to summon the best Dragon Ruler in the game? Hysteric Sign's awesome with those Harpy Ladies. Remember, we played a Harpy Lady deck a while back. Maybe we could bring it back with this. This card was... Uh, Pretty powerful. I mean, if you just read it, if it was uh, in on the field and sent to the graveyard this turn, add three harpy cards with different names from your deck to your hand. Like, it's a plus three. Like, that's insane, right? Two more left. I need a redox. Tachyon Dragon is the ghost rare. And Recton that I can't use anything with there. But Tachyon Dragon is uh, a good rank eight. Like, I can't even complain with that. Great card. Oh, oh yeah, great card. In a world where not many rank 8s exist, this is one of the better ones. Um, love to have it in Ghost Rare. I have one more pack left, though, and I have one more Dragon War to get. Otherwise, we gotta do some thinking. Flip it up! Zero fame? Oh, and a Pinpoint Guard Seeker Rare. This is like a Reborn for level 4 things. Um, Let's check the Dragon Ruler count. We have 4 Burners, 5 Steams, 2 Rectins, and 2 Lightnings to pair with... 
are 1-1-1, one, one, and one. one Tempest, Tidal, and Blaster. I don't want to reroll this. Like, that's like almost as good as it gets. It really sucks I can't get Redox. But if we look ahead, if I can win this episode, I can spin a rare or lower on the wheel and pick them up anyways. The Battle and Boxers, I definitely would love to see better. Because we pulled a couple lead yokes and the pinpoint guard, but I don't know if there's anything like actually there, right? And of course, this is saddening Constellars. Look at all these hollows, by the way. I need to point out. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 total hollows out of the 24 packs. That's like, is that even better than you could actually get back in the day? <laughs> Yeah, that's like one extra ultra. That's like, that's way above average. I, I can't re-roll this. I don't think I can re-roll this. Yeah, we're going to keep this. I think this is maybe as good as it gets. I would have loved to see more of the uh, the Battle and Boxers to take advantage of our double lead yoke pool, but this is good, and it also sets us up to be able to get Redox in the very next set if we end up winning and spinning on the wheel a little bit above average. Even, even if we spin the worst on the wheel, we get it. I'm going to take it. Boom, put it in there. Let's get building. You're all, you're all going to think I'm fucking crazy. I'm locking it. I'm adding it. I, I I think I don't think it's worth the risk. And to prove that, I'm gonna respin 24 packs that don't count just to verify that that's the case. All right, let's do the speed run. Okay, there's a tempest, so I already would have gotten one ruler that I didn't get before. Okay, a second tempest. Galaxy Eyes Tachyon Dragon's also hilarious. That's like neither here nor there. Like I could care less about that. In all honesty. Uh, there's a blaster. Okay. Well, could have had that. A second galaxy eyes. I think that's the second ghost rare too. Okay. That would have been a really hilarious opening. Title. Okay. But a second title. You got to be fucking kidding me. Oh, there was the Kirkion. No. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, you guys can make the decision for yourself. So I pulled five rulers. I pulled two title, a blaster, and two tempest. No redox, notably. Uh, I did get Kirkion, so that kind of sucks. Uh, Madolce Knights technically is relevant, I guess. No lead yoke, though. So you guys can decide for yourself if this is better. I don't know. Playing dragon rulers with only five rulers? I guess we have babies, so, like, it's not that bad. Uh, I don't know. I don't really, like, regret my decision. I think, I think honestly, it was fine. Whatever. Let, let's get into deck building. I know that's what you're all here for. Gage probably pulled, like, three of every ruler and two Draco sacks, so I can't wait to play against that. That's going to be fun. I'm sure with our last few wheel spins and selections, it comes as no surprise that we are piloting one of the strongest decks in Yu-Gi-Oh's history today, the Elemental Dragons. The Dragon Wars are some of the most efficient cards ever released in the league's game, originally thought to be their own little pieces and their own elemental archetypes. It actually came out that they were better altogether. All the Dragon Wars have really two sort of modal abilities. If the card's in your hand or graveyard, you can manage two of the allocated attribute or a dragon type monster from your hand or graveyard except itself to special summon a roller out. So if I have Blaster Chilling in the bin, I can banish a Burner and a Flamdel Guard from my hand or graveyard, or I can banish a Debris Dragon and a Quaki Meru Draco. I just have to banish either two Dragons or two of the Owl Attribute. From there, we can bring back the level 7. Some of them are larger than others. 2800 is the largest on Blaster. Uh, 26 comes in with Tidal and 24 with Tempest. Redox is the smallest attack, but the largest defense. So they're big on their own, but they're also level seven, which allows us to go into one of the best toolboxes at the release of this set, which is the level seven pull, the rank seven pull, excuse me. We picked up a copy of number 11 Big Eye off of our Starlight Wheel, which is crazy. It's definitely one of the best rank sevens in the game. Uh, compared to Draco Sack, also released in this set, this was one of the ones that allowed the mirror match to be as skillful as possible. You would see players doing certain plays to remove their own Draco sack from the board, either popping itself or its own effect, or just not summoning at all, going for different level 7s. So, with the looming threat of Big Eye coming from your opponent, they can't steal anything game-breaking. For us in particular, I don't think Alex has access to any 7s. He didn't get a Big Eye. I don't think there, there's no other good 7s like a Lucky Straight. 
I guess. <laughs> but um, as for everything else, there's nothing too crazy. Big Eye is the top of the notch that we have right now. Unless Alex gets lucky enough to pull a ridiculous Dragon Roller pull himself, as well as Draco Sack on top of it, I don't foresee him really tackling this deck. For us, we got all the ones except Redox, so we are omitting the Earth attribute from our deck, but that's not a problem because all the other attributes, and I think all the other Dragon Rollers serve a little bit better of a purpose when working together. Tidal can actually dump itself and a Water Monster to dump any monster from the deck to the graveyard, which means if we don't access to Tempest or uh, Blaster, we are able to get there with just Tidal. Tidal plus a Water, which there isn't many. We have Stream. Tempest serves the same kind of purpose where we can pitch it in a Wind to get any Dragon-type monster from our deck to hand, which means any of these guys can come to the hand. And Blaster, of course, is really important. It is Spot Removal. It is able to pop something when we pitch a Fire as well as itself. This card single-handedly won the World Championship the year this deck was dominant. It was able to pop, I think, a lone Jowgan on the field that was locking down the game. Uh, and our opponent, what did he do? He card destructioned, specifically looking for Blaster, and he got it. It was, it was kind of hype. It was kind of crazy. Debris Dragon is actually really generically good, able to bring back te uh, Lightning from the bin because it is 500 attack. Seven uh, in stats there. That's able to bring out Black Rose Dragon. We also have some stars of the show back then, Flamvel Guard, as well as Dragoonity Koreska are both level 1 tuners that, when paired with a Dragon Ruler, can make a level 8. Some of the level 8s, you know, RDA, Stardust Dragon, pretty okay. Crimson Blader would be absolutely insane, you know, Crimson Blader tack over your opponent's level 7 or something like that, and then they're just pretty much locked out of their own strategy the next turn. Again, I don't think Alex is playing this deck or any deck with a high level count, so maybe that tech card isn't as good. I don't even know if I have one. Something that's extremely cute that I don't even think Alex might realize is Metamorphosis. We still have this card at one, and uh, what's a level seven? Oh, the last warrior from another planet is a level seven. If he special summon, destroy all other monsters I control and neither player can summon monsters, talk about a turn one. And of course, we have Five-Headed Dragon paired with Future Fusion, still under its old errata at the moment, so this is, is able to just simply dump five Dragon Monsters from our deck to the graveyard, uh, which I guess you could say that's pretty powerful, right? We're also playing Blue Eyes as just additional Dragons. The White Stone of Legend is able to get us more Dragons to our hand to be able to use our effects of the big rollers. Essentially, we just want to load up the bin to bring these guys back as much as possible to access our seven, the Big Eye. On top of the sevens, we also have the eights we can go into with the rollers. I'm really confident with this list. I think it's really good. I think probably the most powerful cards in the deck, if you were to ask me, is a card like Card of Safe Return, which was not even close to limited at this time. It was banned a long, long time ago, but um, I think if we can get this rolling, we can start to draw like five, six cards a turn. Speaking of five, six cards a turn, Super Rejuvenation was at three at the time and was single-handedly one of the most absurd cards just of the format during the end phase of the turn this was activated draw a number of cards equal to the combined number of dragon monsters you discarded or tributed from your hand or field this turn so what you can do is during the end phase after you've done all your dragon war plays you know pitching to search with tempest pitching to dump with title uh cards of consonants pitches all those certain things here you just drop a super rejuve fill back up your hand even if you overdraw not a problem. You can just pitch the cards from your hand because some of them are more useful in the graveyard. Uh, you can also find yourself chaining multiple Super Rejuves in the end phase for a turn because you go Super Rejuve, draw like five cards, see another Super Rejuve, and then draw five more again, right? It's actually just not fair. Uh, definitely not fair. And I think Rageki Break being able to get some of the more useless cards at our hand because without a Dragon Roller in the mix, in rotation, the cards aren't really going to be doing too much. Um, Rageki Break is just going to be really solid removal for those. Side deck is a little bit procured to be Evil Swarms because Alex took it last week. I don't think his Evil Swarm deck is particularly good at all. With one Ophion, it seems pretty manageable. Uh, but I wouldn't be surprised if he decides to take that deck again this week, knowing that I have the Dragon Rollers in sight. Therefore, we have some outs to Ophion in the form of Yomi Ship, as well as Penguin Soldier, just being able to bounce up to two monsters on the field or remove the Ophion from the field with these guys. There are also Waters to pair with Title, give us more reasons to be able to dump from the deck to the graveyard. MSTs for generic removal. Wing Beat of the Giant Dragon is literally free in this deck, being able to bounce any roller to hand and then just uh, destroy all spells and traps on the field. Thanks, Heavy Storm. Love it. Skill Drain, also extremely dumb in this deck. It's able to lock down the Dragon Wars uh, from their end phase effect that will return them to the hand. So you can just stick around with a 2800 dude on the board. Uh, a vanilla that is demanding your opponent to out it, right? And then Compulses and Gores, also just generically good as well. I think this deck is uh, in a league of its own. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be honest. I'm going to find it really hard to lose with this today. I feel like we'll be seeing 90% of the deck 100% of the time. And then uh, we'll be able to win the game from there. Just load up the graveyard with resources and beat Alex with simply better cards that we have. Um, 
that's the name of the game. I'm curious what Alex brought. Again, big set today. I wonder if he got lucky with anything or if he's rolling back to a strategy he's piloted before. Let's go find out. Let's see if we can stack up to the Dragon Rollers. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with Batlin Boxers. Batlin Boxers appeared in season one of the progression series, and they have made a comeback yet again. Arguably a little bit better, considering the fact we have double lead yoke. I think I only had one lead yoke in season one, but we have emerald as well to recycle it. So honestly, we have infinite lead yokes if we really want to. In any case, I'm not 100% certain this is going to win today, but I think it's going to give Gage a run for his money. He may not expect we're playing this. He might think that we're all in on rulers just because that is like the main attraction of Lord of the Tack Young Galaxy, but I think it's something that can compete, and I can't wait to see how well it does. So let's do the card by card. Uh, we have every single Batlin Boxer card except for Counter Punch in our deck. So we have Glass Jaw, Head Geared, Spar, as well as Switch Hitter. Only two, unfortunately. I didn't put in Counter Punch. It like doesn't really do anything aside from it being just like a mini Kalut, but in all honesty, I think I'd rather just have like more playable cards aside from that. So Glass Jaw is pretty neat. When it's sent to Grave by Card Effect, you can target a Batlin Boxer in your grave, except Glass Jaw and add it to your hand. Head Geared on normal summon, you can send a Batlin Boxer from deck to grave, like Glass Jaw to get something back, and also it can't be uh, killed by battle once each turn, which is pretty nice, as long as it's in attack position. Spar is just a free special summon, so that's an easy way to get to Lead Yoke, and then Switch Hitter is like our Wolf Bark that allows us to easily, through the mid-game, just be able to keep making Lead Yoke, or any rank 4 for that matter, uh, but it does lock you into Batlin Boxers when you use that effect, so you have to keep that in mind. Spar, you also lose your battle phase, but honestly, if we establish Lead Yoke, we're looking pretty nice. We have two Valor and Gores, just for some generic good stuff, as well as Sangin and Witch, just because these can search any of the missing pieces that we need. And we're kind of monster light because we don't really have much else to play in this deck. We don't have Blaster, obviously. So I have Photon Thrasher instead. It's a nice substitute. It's a warrior, which means we can make Heroic Champion Excalibur. We did pull this back in Return of the Duelist. And it's just nice because if we can't make our uh, lead yoke, at least we can go into a rank four with this at the end of the day, right? So that seems okay. The spells include Brain Con. Brain Con's a bit weird because like if Gage isn't playing a rank four base deck, this isn't going to do a lot. I'm using this more as like an aggro tool just to get in a ton of damage in one turn. Or if we have, like, if he has, like, a Dragon Ruler up, we can take it, sync with Valor, potentially. I might board this out, but I think it's too good not to play, because this can steal so many games. Dark Hole, Forbidden Lands, Triple MST, Duality, Pot of Greed, and Rhoda. I have the Dualities in here, just so that way, in our first few turns, we can smooth out our hands a little bit. I think just the added consistency, since we're a bit monster light, is probably needed here. And then for the traps, we have Double Bottomless, Double Compulse, Double Prison, Double Fiendish Chain, Judgment Warning, and Double Torrential. I'm a bit worried with Fiendish Chain and Gores, because that can be a weird conflict, but in any case, we need to have a ton of traps because we are playing Boxer, and these are some of the best ones that we can play, and we can change that out in the sideboard depending on what Gage is playing. We have some Synchro targets because we are playing Valor, so that could come up. Cataster is the most likely just because a uh, 4 and a 1 can make this. Mistworm also too, if we have two 4s and a 1, that could also randomly be relevant, but we'll see. We also have Black Rose Breen that can start us. Batlin Boxer Lead Yoke, of course, is the star of the show. It needs two Batlin Boxers, and if a Batlin Boxer monster you control would be destroyed by battle or card effect, you can detach a material from this card instead. And if a material is detached from this card, it gains 800 attack. So this thing being immune to a lot of destruction is very annoying to deal with, and so we sort of have some things in place to try to counteract the other cards it isn't necessarily that good against, but we'll see how it goes. Then we have Emerald to recycle the lead yokes. We have Pearl in case we need something big. We have Excalibur in case we need something bigger. We can actually play this since we're playing a warrior deck. Two copies of Lavavel Chain. Lavavel Chain is actually pretty cool because at any point we can make a rank four. We could have an opening of like Thrasher plus, uh, I don't know, Switch Hitter, and then overlay them for Chain. Chain pitch Switch Hitter dump Glass Jaw. And since Glass Jaw was dumped by an effect, we can add Switch Hitter back to hand. So guaranteed next turn we have a rank four, which is pretty sick. We could also in the mid game just dump Glass Jaw to get Switch Hitter back if we have like, you know, any other random stuff. So that way it's just a way to have a follow up guaranteed play on the next turn. And the fact that Chain isn't at one yet means that we can do this. So I figure we take advantage. Utopia is just another big dude, and so is Photon Papal Operative. And then the side, we've got some warrior ladies in case we want like more removal. We have Kaiku in case Gage is on a ruler deck. We can start banishing stuff out of the graveyard. Kaiser Coliseum as well as Vanity's Emptiness as well as Goes in Match just as floodgates. I only want these if like Gage is going to force me to go first or like I know I'm going to be going first because then I can establish this that way. I feel like because when we win the die roll or if we lose the die roll, we don't really know what's going to happen in the first set. I, I want to just have these in the sideboard for that reason. So they're here. The third compulse in case Gage is on like a more uh, XC style like 
like not really attacking deck. Like this is good for clearing like Big Eye if he's on rulers or, you know, Stardust, different things like that. Anything from the extra deck really. And Triple Dust if we need more spell and trap removal because Lead Yoke is susceptible to stuff like D-Prison randomly and that's kind of annoying. Compulse is popular in our format as well. And it's good at just hitting stuff. So I figure, you know, having more spell and trap removal doesn't hurt. So I can't wait to see how this one goes. It's going to be exciting. Lord of the Tack Young Galaxy, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get into it. Let's not make you wait any longer. It's time to duel. Gage, this is a monumental episode for Season 2. We have Lord of the Tachyon Galaxy, one of the most iconic sets throughout all of Yu-Gi-Oh's history. You're on the verge of tying the series again. Mm -hmm. I don't think we could have written it any better, my friend. How you feeling? Oh, incredible, bro. Just like you said, one of the most iconic sets of all time. We have some of the most powerful cards ever seen released in this set. Uh, I was wondering how many you saw yourself in your opening today. I guess uh, we'll find out when we get to the end of the episode, like always. But even so, like rulers aside, because of course I had to talk about the set since I lost last episode, there's just a lot of good cards like all across this set. Like, I mean, there's just like, there's Draco Sack in the Secret, or there's a bunch of Fire Fist support, Spellbook support, like you can just, Medolce support, like you uh -huh. name it. There's just like card after card. So uh, yes, the Dragon Rulers are the star of the show, but there is still some other things that are, are I, I, one of the best core sets ever. There's really not much else to say. Yeah, I remember back as a little tyke, I was I was super into the Medolce's, bro, and Hoot Cake was a game yeah. changer, right? It could bring anything. Crazy to card. Deck. So yeah, Crazy Tachyon card. Galaxy, the gift that keeps on giving. It's truly yeah. a, a set that's in the league of its own, and uh, I was stoked to open it again today. It was really fun to see those cards again. Yeah, I don't think any time we've done this for any series, I don't think I've ever been sick of opening this set. Like, even mm -hmm. Sealed Showdown, this was a crazy fucking episode just because of how crazy some of the cards are. But in any case, buddy, let's get into it. Shout out to patron Ruben Richards. Thank you for the support. This is an important die roll, Gage. It's a big one. Okay, oh. all right. Oh, I was going to say die roll for me. Rock, paper, scissors for you. Oh, let's oh. go. Ruben, thank you for the win today. Oh, man, what okay. am I going to do, right? What are you going to do, Gage? What are you going to do? do? I don't know. I think... Alex, this is a weird one. This is a weird one. Yeah, we're really hitting the stage where I think we can start making some turn one boards like Redox Pass, like, hello. <laughs> I think we can make some of the best boards in the game turn one. And I really think I, I really think I got to go first here because I can't let you just pop off turn one. I'm going to do that. Okay. I'm going to go first, man. I'm going to take okay, my five let's see how it, Let's see how it works out for you. Let's see how it works out for All you. Right, best, best of luck, the worst. Best of luck. Let me take a look at my hand and see what I can do here. Okay. Um... Let's get it started. I'm going to start by activating Cards of Consonants. Here we go. Tuner from hand, White Stone of Legend, and I get to draw two additional cards. I'm guessing that's that you okay, do. right? Two yep. more off the top, and then White Stone triggers. I get to search a Blue Eyes White Dragon from my deck to my hand. Mandatory effect, by the way. Mandatory, Mandatory effect. effect. We've got to go with the OG SDK. Art Using the, the correct one. artwork, I appreciate it. <laughs> you Fine know taste. me, right? All right, man. Well, I mean, you know what's coming, right? I'm going to go Lightning. Dragon Ruler of Drafts, and I'm going to pitch that blue eyes that I added to my hand to Special Summon yep. Tempest from the deck. Go for it. All right. Where is he at? Right here. Tempest, Dragon Ruler of the Storms on the Has field. emerged. He's crazy. He's pretty good, man. Not bad. Let's see what else I want to do here. Let's take a gander to the extra deck. I've always thought Tempest has the weirdest mouth. It's like this circle that it's like a like the circle you draw at the top of like a tornado like that you draw just like on paper. I never really paid attention to that, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> so <laughs> thanks for uh I'll never be able to unsee that. So thank you. For <laughs> I filmed too much with Joseph that I start to notice these things. Anyway. Anyway, um I'm going to go with Upstart Gob and I'm going to take another card off my deck. And I'll take a thousand life points. Thank yep. you very much. Alex, I don't know if you uh took a little gander at some of the band cards we have, but I think this might be one of the best ones. I think you're in trouble. I'm going to activate Metamorphosis to tribute oh, a monster. Oh, Lord. What are you up to? They're sevens, and uh, that's are a you pretty good seven. <laughs> that's oh a pretty good God. level seven. The last okay. warrior from another channel. I'll blow up all monsters I control. Oh, no. All right. Uh, but now you can't special summon. I can't either. But hey. I got 2350 on the field. Advantage me. Your turn, Yeah. Duelist. Uh It's not neither player can s special summon. It's either player can summon. Gage. At all. A, at all. At bro. all. At all. Uh, I'll go standby main. Now, let me ask this as a clarifying question. I don't play enough GOAT to know this because I think this is the only other format that they do it. Are you still allowed to set monsters? I think so. I For sure, I think you can. Because a set isn't yeah. a summon, technically. Yep, you may set. 
You may set. I may set. Okay, that's what I like to hear. Incoming so man, can, man eater bug incoming. <laughs> Look out. I can put up a bit of a wall. I can put up a bit of a wall at least. Uh, so we'll go ahead and we'll set some cards and we'll throw it back. All right, man. Hardly a problem. Stand by main. Oh, I can't do much this turn. But I can go to the battle phase. I was so going to say, I'll... you have a last warrior up. I don't exactly know what you're going to be doing. <laughs> Let me get into the face down here. Let me see what you're on. Oh, uh, God. I don't even know if I want you to honest uh yeah it's it's sangin i'll use my sangin you can get the search yeah let's see what he picks up if i gotta play around the Ryko incoming tell you what gauge this is gonna reveal what i'm on so it's gonna be pretty big i am going to add with my sangin a copy of Batlin Boxer Sparrer. Oh, shit. He's bringing out the boxers. Didn't you do this last busted season? Busted out the like, boxers. I, oh, maybe, man. maybe. I may have busted out the boxers a bit last season, too. You're perhaps. a big fan of those boxers. Um, I unfortunately can't bring out the lead yoke with my guy on the field here. I'll just pass it to you, man. Good luck. Let me see what you got. Sure. I'll go ahead and draw. Uh, We'll go standby main. I'm going to start by spacing your back row. You know what? I'll chain it. It's Raigeki break. Okay. I'll discard my other blue eyes white dragon from my hand. We'll pop this back row right here. All right. Uh, not happy about that. It is the fiendish chain. Mm, so I can see go. why it was a decision last turn. If you wanted yeah. to let me keep. Uh, I'm going to compulse him though. So back he goes. Out of here. Back he goes. Unfortunately, only one metal. For, I was going to say <laughs> meadows at one, so I feel pretty good about that. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, feeling pretty good. All right. So now we can we can do some things. We can do some things. We don't have to worry about any summon locking. Thankfully, you got that. Yeah, I think we just have to get established here. Uh, we'll go head geared and head geared effect. Strong. Yes, sir. That's fine. Dump the glass jaw. Yep. We will dump the glass jaw. Ah, are we dumping glass jaw, actually? You got I something like else? To. I think you always dump the jaw. Then you get a search. I, I mean, the jaw is not really getting a lot of value, but to be fair, nothing's really getting value in this case. Yeah, we'll dump the jaw. It's too okay. easy not to. Uh, we will go to battle for a thousand. I'll take it. Uh, second main, we'll go sparrer yep and sparrer is you cannot conduct your battle phase for the rest of the turn very funny text there uh so we'll go for lead yoke yep damn and we'll pass all right gotta beat lead yoke i'll draw for turn stand by yep. in the main i mean you got some things you got a tempest you're good on that regeki break to hit a fiendish chain so unfortunately that could have gone very poorly for you could have i'm gonna activate this is pretty broken in this deck card of safe return Oh, shit. Yeah, that's insane. <laughs> yeah, so MST, uh, glad that's out of the way. I'm going to use yeah. Tempest from the Graveyard. We're going to banish Lightning and Whitestone. Yep. And I'm going to summon back Tempest. And you'll trigger card of safe return. I will trigger card of safe return. We're going to put this in defense. I'll draw. I'm so fucking dumb. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. That's so stupid of me. <sighs> Why would I, I do that? Um, That's all right. I am just going to uh, set a card. That's my turn, Alex. Uh, during the end phase, I think this comes back, right? Uh, during my end phase, it comes yeah, back. Yeah, okay, there you go, okay. Yep. Uh, we'll go standby main. Uh, you may notice that Tempest has the exact defense as my lead yoke's attack, so we're not really making much headway there. So I'm just going to set one, throw it back, and your Tempest will go to hand. It will go to hand. Uh, we'll bounce it to hand. Still thinking on the end phase, though. Okay, no, this is fine. I'll draw. Yep. Standby main. Okay, uh, I'm going to activate Raigeki Break. Sure. And I am going to discard the Tempest. And I'll pop this back row. It's another compulse. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm going to use burner, and I am going to pitch debris dragon from my hand. Sure. Very okay. Powerful. Yes. Get to summon the big daddy B from the dick. Big blaster. Huge. Um, and then tempest in the graveyard. We're gonna use it. He is. All right. We'll banish this and blue eyes. Summon it back. That's one off of card of safe card. return. Yep. Sheesh. Uh, I'm going to upstart goblin. We'll take another card. And I'll take another thousand. You will. Uh, I'm going to take both my dragon rulers. We're going to exceed them. I mean, it doesn't get any easier, right? Big guy <laughs> gets to Pretty take good. the lead yoke. Doesn't destroy it. So uh, gimme, gimme. Does get negated by effect. No! No! Oh, my God. He had the veiler. Oh, that's fine. Ah, I guess that's fine. All right. I think that's fine. Um, During, I'm going to go to the end phase. And then during the end yep. phase, I'm going to super rejuve. I pitched so pitch. three. I pitched one off to Breed Dragon, and then I pitched for Tempest, and I pitched a little Baby Ruler. So that's three. You pitched the Burner, the Debris. And the Tempest. That's underneath the big guy, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's three. Okay. Because you pitched the... No, you pitched the Tempest for a Geki Break, didn't you? Well, yeah, that's still a Dragon that was discarded, right? 
That was during my end phase, though, wasn't it? Or did you let it go? No, oh, no it was, you let I it let it go. go. Yeah, let yeah, go. you're good. You draw three. You draw okay, three. so I'm going to draw good. three. I don't know why you're making a big deal out of it. I'm going to draw three more, too. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, in case you do this, it matters. <laughs> oh, look at that. Six cards in hand. Damn, bro. Don't have you want to put the anything. third one down while you're at it, too? I didn't see the third one. It's your turn now. <laughs> oh, I didn't see the third one. Oh, boo-hoo. Dark hole. Oh, no. That's fine. Yeah, like it really matters in this case. Yeah, whatever. at least your guy's 3,000 now, though. He's I mean, that was kind of the problem, is that even if I didn't if I didn't draw anything, then I was just in trouble. But I'm in trouble anyway, so I mean, I may as well do my best. Go ahead. All right, 3,000. I'm going to draw for turn up to seven. Extremely good, right? All right, how do I beat this fucking league yoke? <laughs> I mean, you don't have two big eyes, thankfully, unless yeah, you pulled another no, wild right. card or I definitely, some shit, I definitely so. don't have two big eyes. I, would be, uh, I wouldn't even have to think about it if I did. No. If you can't beat Lead Yoke in seven cards, I will be I will be genuinely shocked. I gotta shut up. I <laughs> it's not easy. <laughs> I'm gonna start by activating Foolish Burial. We'll get a card out of it. Sure. Let me see what I got left in here. I mean, I guess there's no other choice. I'm going to dump. Um, this seems like the best. I'm gonna dump Lightning from the deck to the graveyard. Okay, that's weird. I'm um, in. I'm gonna activate Pot of Greed. I'll draw two more. Sure. Because you need more cards in your hand, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I, honestly, to deal with this lead yoke, I do. I still don't have a way to deal with it. <laughs> That's so funny. That's so fucking funny. All right. I, all right. I think I got the line. Um, It's not a great one, but I think I got it here. I'm going to start with Tempest in the Graveyard. I will banish okay. Debris Dragon and Blue Eyes. Summon back Tempest, and we'll draw okay. a card. That you will. I'm going to normal summon the White Stone of Legend. Okay. And I'm going to Synchro for eight. I'm going to make, make Red Dragon Archfiend. Okay. Mandatory effect. You have Man to search. <laughs> I do. I do have to search. I have no other targets in deck, though. So uh, would you like to verify? I think that's what they uh, did back in the day. I, 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 I'm not going to fucking bother. It's fine. Okay. Um, I'm going to go Battle Phase, and I'm just going to crash into the lead yoke. Sure. Okay. So you survive. My guy dies. You gain 800. You're up to 38 now. Yep. I'll go main two. Already normal summoned. Um, I'm going to activate stream dragon ruler of droplets. Yep. And I'll pitch her and burner from my hand. Let's get a, a title out for summon defense. The title from the deck. Yeah, defense. A little bit of, little bit of uh, back row going on here. And then I'm going to use blaster's effect in the graveyard. I'm going to banish white stone. And I'm going to banish stream. And I'm going to bring him out also in defense. That one's from Grave, so card is safe for turn triggers. I draw. Yep. Um, I will set. No second big eye. So uh, that's my turn. Go ahead. I mean, it, you wouldn't have. this would not have taken nearly this long if you had a second big eye. Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah no, I think I would have figured it out a lot quicker. Yeah, I think you would have as well. Uh, well... You know, funny enough, as much as I want to kill these rulers, I think they're better in your hand because then you don't draw off of card of safe return. Their defenses are just as big as their attacks as far as I'm concerned at this point. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set and I'm just going to let them go back to hand. Okay. All right, we'll put them back. No problem. And uh, I will draw for turn. Sure. Stand by main. Yep. Okay, good thing you let me put this blaster back. Uh... I am going to use his effect. We're going to use Blaster Pitch Flamvel Guard. And I'm going to pop the lead yoke finally. I mean, he was dying anyway. Yeah. So. I'm going to use Raigeki Break. And I'm going to pitch Future Fusion to pop the other face down. Is my witch. Oh, okay. You do get the that. search. That's fine. Yep. Uh, there's only one guy I think we go for in this situation. But I want to think. Uh, you've got every ruler. Because I know you have title in hand. Thankfully, I have 10,000 life points, so I think that helps my chances of surviving just a bit. I've already used Blaster's effect, too. So you I have, so you don't get to bring the back. Blaster back. Yep. Um, Yeah, I think I'll just grab the Switch Hitter. Okay. Oh, God, you have a second. I can't beat a second. <laughs> <laughs> Alex, I can't beat a second one. No. Or do I? Am I just bluffing? Can I kill you this turn? 10,000 life and you don't have a blaster, I find that very unlikely. I have two dragon ruler effects, Alex. That's nothing to nothing to, to scoff at, you know? It's not. It's not. But 10,000 life points is also nothing to scoff at. I'm not saying it's impossible. 
I just did the math. It's impossible. <laughs> I, I, I just did the math. <laughs> that's making the highlight real. Okay. Okay. I think that's the line. All right. I'm going to use Tempest from the graveyard. I will banish Burner and RDA. Sure. Yep. Uh, we'll summon it back. Would you like to draw? Uh, yes, I would. I'll take a freebie. No problem. And I'm going to use this title in my hand. I'm going to banish guard and another guard from my hand here. Bring and, out title? Uh, sure. We'll bring out title from the hand. Yep. This is f- five? It's 5K. Halfway there. I'll give you another thousand. <laughs> yeah, sure. I'll give you another thousand. I'm trying to see better cards. You can't cards. kill me. You may as well, uh, I'm right? trying to see better cards now, yeah. Um, I'll go battle phase. We'll just go five. I'll take the five. Okay. Gores? Uh, I, I don't think I'd be really scared of it at this point if you had it, so that's fine. <laughs> um, main phase two, I'll add a sure. set card, and I will sure. pass my turn. Go ahead. All right. I'll draw. Stand by main. Uh, I'll try it. Yep. All right. Moment of truth. It's you a... have the second one. Do I have the second one? It's the question. Well, I, I'm locked into Batlin Boxers. So oh, I mean, yeah, you got to. <laughs> yeah. I Fuck, bro. Yeah, that's fine. He's here. So I'm kind of tempted to hit in just so my lead yoke's a little bit bigger, but these little guys are going to go back to your hand. And if I'm being honest, you're running out of dragons, Gage. You're running a little short over there. Uh, you've got two engrave. One of them's a blaster, which I know you kind of want to keep around. Uh, so you would need a lot more dragons if you want to just drop these guys onto the field, which you have ways of getting. But with only seven cards left in deck, I don't know. I'm chilling. You can uh, chillin'? you can take him back. All right, we'll put him back. I'll draw. Yep. Same. I mean, I played this so horribly. Oh my <laughs> god! I'm looking at my hand and I'm looking at the cards I've banished, and I I don't think I could have played this worse. Um, it's okay. You're 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 getting the dust off, right? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> it's been a while almost, since prog season one. Yeah, it's been a while since prog season like one. Almost like ten years ago. I gotta I gotta remember everything again. Yeah. It's like riding a bike. Um, you gotta dust off the cobwebs. You know. You know. Any consolation, Joseph and I were doing history of Yu-Gi-Oh, and I'm like, oh, I can't wait to smoke him with Spiral, and I lost like every Spiral episode. No, you're the close. Spiral master yeah, too. I know, <laughs> not really, but I mean, I felt like I had a good chance with that, but that was just terrible. All right, unfortunately, I think this is like my play. I'm going to. Uh... No, that's like not it either. I mean, no, that is it because I have nothing else going for me. All right, I'm going to uh, cards of consonants. I'm going to pitch Koreska, and I'm going to draw two more cards. Okay, yeah. At this point, is it a race to be killing you or are you decking yourself? Because I probably be probably decking way. myself, Alex. Like I think I told you, I think I'm out of outs for this lead joke. I really think I don't have a way to beat it now. <laughs> I like I I think metamorphosis is like my cute tech to be able to out weird things, but I meta's cute. I like meta. Yeah, I don't I don't have another way to to beat this lead joke. Like, all right, I'm gonna debris dragon, and I'm gonna sure. target lightning. Uh, yeah, that's a valid target. That's fine. Okay, so we'll bring lightning back, and I will draw my card off consonant. That you will. All right, I'm going to synchro for seven, and I'm going to make Black Rose Dragon. And Are you I'll, nuking? Yeah, I'll go to remove a material from All right. sure. your guy. Uh, I'll trigger Glassjaw. Uh, no, it's only when it's it, sent to Graver by card effect. It is. It's a continuous effect. Is it? It's detached. Yes, I looked this up. I looked oh, this okay. up. Okay, all right. Well, all right, one well, who's me to question <laughs> you, bro, right? All right, go ahead. Yeah. Um, thinking what I want back. I actually need to apply pressure to kill you. Uh, could just get another head geared. Like, that would be fine. Yeah, sure. I'll get head geared back. Okay. Um, I will use Blaster from the graveyard. I'm a banish Black Rose and the Debris Dragon. Black Rose gave you another dragon. Yep. Special. And then... This is 3k. Yes. I punted this. I did. All right. I did. All right. I'm going to banish two more. And I'm going to special summon title. And I'm going to yep. pass. It's Wallen. He'll draw. That's annoying. Um... He's got a million cards still in hand. I'm going to fire Duality. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. I mean, <laughs> those look pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Nice insurance policy there. Take that. Uh, we're just going to go into this headgear, so I'm not even going to shuffle. Because mm-hmm. I'll shuffle here. I uh, will send another Glassjaw. 
We'll go mm-hmm. glass jaw effect. We'll get spar. Yep. Actually, you know what? We're going to put this lead yoke back. <laughs> okay, so you have two lead yoke. I got it. One. Okay, two yep. lead yoke. Okay. You can cycle it. Um, we'll go to battle. I'm going to take out the blaster. Okay. I don't want you getting that back to possibly pop the lead yoke. And I'll just go second main. I'll set a card. Could be anything. Could be I'll, anything. Uh, pass it back. I'll uh, put the title back in my hand and I'll draw. And yep. uh, I'm just going to... You got it. <laughs> I can't Woo! be oh, Lead yoke, God, baby! So we depressing. did it! <laughs> oh, I, I felt like I had the most powerful hand in Yu-Gi-Oh! And I fucking lost it. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> All right. Game two. Game two. Couldn't find the out for the lead yoke, bro. Can't be destroyed by battle, not less, twice times. I don't know how I beat it. <laughs> I needed to put in a couple Can't of be us. destroyed, period. Yeah, right? Can't be destroyed, period. Ah, Very important. To... And an upgrade from season one. I only had one lead yoke the first time around. Mm-hmm. Uh, I had to recycle it with glass jaw, but this time we got two, so we were a little bit luckier That's this okay. time. I think my side deck might come in a little clutch to be able to beat this thing. But I do know that sure. lead yoke pass, hardly worried about it. So I'm going to go second and take the additional card. I think it might come in okay. clutch for this deck in particular. Let's see what you got, okay? That's the luck, buddy. Hope it works out for you. Uh, we will go draw standby main. Let's start with duality. Sure. Ooh, oh, my God. Okay. Okay. Mm. Uh, I think we'll just take this vanities. <laughs> yeah. <I imagine. laughs> might need that. I imagine. You're not the only one who's got some uh, some good cards in their deck for the matchup. Yeah, you know what? Let's just uh, Let's just set the fort. Sure. What are you going to do? What am I going to do? Right? <laughs> Go ahead. I'll draw. Stand my main. I'm going to activate Tempest, Dragon Ruler of Storms, effect to search by pitching a wind from my hand. Debris Dragon. Is that okay? Sure. Cool. Yeah, that's fine. Search any dragon monster from the deck to the hand. Any one at all. Because, you know, these things needed more effects yeah, right? on them. <laughs> I'm going to add Stream, Dragon Ruler of Droplets from deck to hand. Sure. Okay. And then I'm going to activate Titles, effect to dump from the hand. Pitching another We're one. just getting rid of everything. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna dump a card yeah. from deck to graveyard. Sure. I will dump out of the deck. I'll just dump Whitestone a legend, and I will use Whitestone Search. a legend. Yeah. Yeah. So okay, we'll pick up a blue eyes white dragon. Get nice and loaded here. Yes, sir. Blue eyes and three other cards. I do not know. Yep. I'll activate card of safe return. Okay. Let me get your emptiness out of you. I will activate title from the graveyard, and um, I will banish stream debris. Uh, you got yep. it. I will just go to the end phase. I will activate super rejuve. Four cards. Four, four? Gross. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I don't think One, I did anything about that. Could anything interact with super rejuve back in the I day? I don't think I don't so. I don't think there was anything that interacted with super rejuve. Um, yeah. so we'll super rejuve and then super rejuve. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep going. Four. Okay. So I got a discard for hand size. Hardly a problem for this deck back in the day, though. Um, yeah, I can imagine. Yeah, let's pitch out of the hand. We'll go. I'm not, what am I at? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I got to pitch down three cards. It's three. One, two, three. And I'm All happy right. with that. All right, cool. your turn. No hand knowledge. Uh, let's just get in with the beats with the glass <laughs> Big jaw. Two K thousand glass jaw. I love it. Yep. Yep. Let's throw another back row down. Okay. Go ahead. I will draw. Stay in my main. Imagine you've got something for this emptiness. I do now. Uh, I am going to activate blaster, dragon lord of the infernos, pitching a fire for my hand to pop glass jaw. Uh, unfortunately, I think that is going to resolve. Actually, wait. No, wait. actually will, instead of the, instead of the glass the jaw, hold on, hold on to the glass jaw for a second. Maybe I snipe one of your back rows, because if I summon a roller, this thing's dead, right? This thing dead on sight. Um, I think that's the move. Let's pop, and this pops on anything sent, right? Yeah, okay, so let's get the, uh, let's get your fresh set. This is the one you just set, right? Sure, it's a space. I'll take out the card. Okay, yeah, no, that's fair. I respect it. All right, um, Groovy. Uh, I will activate Title from the graveyard. Banish Stream. Banish Whitestone of Ancients. Flip the second one. Yep. No, no. Oh! Okay, he's on the... No, f- he made it. He did it. Oh, my God. I'm proud of him. <laughs> he made I'm it. proud of this guy. Let's go uh, Foolish Burial. I'll dump a card from Deck to Graveyard. Sure. I will dump another... Yeah, I'm going to dump another White Stone, and we'll White Stone add Blue Eyes. Sure. I'll go Future Fusion. I have five-headed. I don't know if you... Holy that. crap. That is disastrous. Second I'm space. thinking. Blue Eyes in hand. Blue Eyes right? in hand, yes. Three other back row. Good Lord. Yeah, I can't let you send five. 
Um, yeah, I mean, that's fine. No problem. Uh, it's not great, but I feel like... It's the best you can do. I, I might have a grip on this game, potentially, if I pop that. Uh, I'm going to use Tempest in the graveyard, and I'll banish Blue Eyes and Whitestone. Uh, I'll go Zen. can only control one attribute, so I can only control waters. Okay, cool. So I'll just go Battle Phase then, and I'll attack. Start step, I'll compulse. Stop Stop it. <laughs> he's got everything. <laughs> All right, he's back in hand. Main two, I'm adding one back row. I am adding two back row. And I am passing my turn. It's a lot. Go it's going to need a miracle for that to happen. 2K. And I'll throw another one down. Go ahead. Draw. I'll use title in my hand. I'll banish guard, and I'll banish this blue eyes from my hand here. Uh, Water sure. monster, title. Yep. Battle. Tat. It's fine. Effect glass show. Yeah, <laughs> I was gonna, gonna say the effect for it to destroy okay. itself. I said the effect for it to destroy oh, okay, itself, okay, okay. not the effect. Oh, to get I was very back. confused for a sec. So, uh, I guess replay. Uh, yep, twenty six. Main phase two. Um, I will set a card and I will pass. Go ahead. Sure. What are you setting in this deck? Like a fucking stone, a flambell guard. I basically saw your whole deck last game. Just any random bullshit card. Uh, you're good. Um, during the end phase, I'll activate Skill Drain to keep title around. Yuck. Okay, and yep. then I'll draw. <clears throat> sure. Stay in my main. I'll just go straight to the battle, and I'll attack you for 26. I'll take it. Uh, two, I will set another one, and I'll pass. Go ahead. Draw. Uh, Special Thrasher. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Torrential. That's not as fine, but, uh, I'm gonna have to put up with it. That's fine. Everything goes to Graveyard. Are you ready to see the face downs? <laughs> we hit? Oh, the penguin soldiers! I had to have Holy the alpha shit! Ophium All right, well, somewhere, but yeah, well, skill drain. I mean, mm, takes care of that anyway. So uh, Glass jaw. Glass jaw. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I'll take two thousand. Yep. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, I will draw. Standby. I will activate Rageki Break. I'll discard Debris Dragon to pop. Sure. Goes in match. And we are in trouble. Yep. I will go Blaster from the Graveyard. I'll banish Debris and Tempest. Mm-hmm. And then I'll search with Tempest. Sure. I'll add Dragoonity Koreska from neck to hand. I'll go Battle yep. Phase. I'll declare mandatory effect on Glass Draw and then redeclare for game. No mandatory effect because it's skilled. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, let me go back. <laughs> no way. King of hey, take backs this oh my episode God, I'm going to use title banish both of the penguin soldiers. And then, and then we'll go for it. We'll go for it. Yeah, yeah right. you got Thank it. God. <laughs> okay. You're lucky I'm so yeah. nice. You're lucky so I'm so dumb, nice. Bro. I've been making the stupidest play all day. Man, I feel like there were so many ways I feel like that could have gone my way if it wasn't for double super rejuve. I feel like if I had one more guy to make a lead yoke with that setup, you were going to be in trouble. I felt uh, like uh, this double super rejuve was what killed it. I feel like with all those back row, you had no chance. Yeah, I feel like drawing you're... 12 cards, it's it's hard to, it's hard to beat it's that. Pretty good. I feel like there. you're really seeing not only like the like the detriment of the Dragon Lord, not only were the cards efficient and good themselves, but it made all these other cards in the game around them just even better. Cards like Cards of Consonance, uh, cards like, um, you know, Vanity's Emptiness became like a staple and stuff like that. It really is like that good of an archetype, man. Yeah, it's crazy. All right. Well, I guess we have to do our best here. I did opt to go first because I feel like if I want any chance to win this, I feel like I have to try to set up and flood out, hopefully. Uh, looking at my hand, I'm not exactly sure if that played out for us, but we'll try our best. Uh, main one, let's go Thrasher. Strong enough, yep. Go Glassjaw. Yep. Uh, I'm going to overlay. Can't make lead joke with this. You gotta have Cannot. two boxers. We're gonna make, make lavable chain. I mean, that's good as the fuck too. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, yep. Uh, lavable chain second effect. Yes. Oh my I'm god. Gonna stack, stack this fucking switch hitter. That's so sick. I'm gonna stack switch hitter. Yeah, yep. I did. Uh, it. There's unfortunately I got the cards in the wrong order. If you open Thrasher Switch Hitter, I can detach Switch Hitter, send Glass Jaw, and then Glass Jaw triggers oh, that switch hitter back. No. But unfortunately, we did not get that uh, that much of a dream there. Uh, but I do have some back row for you, so uh, we'll just set those and uh, hope yeah, it's good enough. Those are Go gonna paw, cause a little bit of an issue here. Let's draw. Stand by main. Can I just say while you're thinking, I know it's bad, but fuck do I love Lavable Chain. It's oh, such a cool it's card. It's such a fucking good card, bro.
I don't love it, personally. <laughs> I think the card's really <laughs> fucking good. Oh, I, I, I'm really going to let you keep it on the field, too. Like, Ooh, I like to hear that. That's exciting. How do I have no plays? <laughs> In the deck of, like, literally every card is active. I have no going first place here. I am going to set a card. And uh, yikes! I'm going to set another card, and I'm going to pass. Go ahead. Okay. I'm shocked, to be honest. I did not think we'd get this far. All right, stand by me. Yeah. Problem is now, I didn't think we'd get this far. That I get a second activation of Evolve. I chain, didn't. So either. I don't know. So I don't. E I honestly don't even know what to do with it. It's like the, there's too much power in a second Evolve chain activation. I mean, fuck. <laughs> let's, let's find out. I'll activate. Which one are you using? <laughs> using the dump or the stack? I have to declare before I do you this. You do. Huh? You remember when people used to stack Archfiend with it and then just draw into it? I do. That, bro? What a mm -hmm. what a game, yeah, bro! What a game. The only like only like relevant time the second effect comes up. Let's be honest. I am going to dump. Okay. Uh, I'm going to dump another switch hitter. Okay. Uh, switch hitter effect. Yeah. I'll get glass jaw. Yeah. So I sent this so that way I've set up. Yeah. All right, he's here. Yep. Um, now to worry about your set monster. You got a bunch of random bullshit. I, if I recall correctly, I think stream has like 2k defense for no reason, and that's really irritating. So I think I have to actually attack with Legend. I really needed this swing. I'm glad I baited you by talking about how bad my hand was, because my turn one play was not enough to stack up to this. But Penguin Soldier is oh, enough to stack up to both God, of these XYZ the Penguin monsters. Soldier. Yeah, that's rough. Unfortunately, I got to deal with... Should have just went with Chain first. Doesn't matter. I still got to deal with the Switch Hitter next turn. Oh, no, you dumped it. You didn't even stack yeah. it. Lucky me. No, okay. I dumped it. I dumped it. I think I'm probably cooked now. Damn. All right, well... Uh, I forgot about the Penguin Soldier. I was too <laughs> worried about being able to actually hit over it. I'm probably going to lose. Tech. Go All ahead. right, well, let's see what we got here. Stand by main. That is solid. I am going to set a card, and then I'm going to use Card Destruction. <laughs> Gross. You switch yeah. one? Like dark hole. See a dark hole. I'll switch out three. Pitching title. Oh, great. Here comes the super rejuve. <laughs> I, I mean, it's close. Right? <laughs> oh, my God. We'll yeah. take two more off of cock, and then I will go, um, I'll cock again. I'll pitch white stone, and then I'll white stone. Are you, stop me if you have anything, by the way. I don't. Don't worry. I don't. Okay. I am going to use blaster from the graveyard. I'll get rid of this burner and this stream from my hand. Emptiness? Sure. No? Okay. Uh, we'll go blaster back. Yep. I will go battle phase, and I'll try for 28. 28's good. Cool. I'll go main two. I'll add one. I'll add two. I'll go end phase. Reju for four. Oh, there it is. Reju for four. Yep. One. And two, then four three, more after that. Let's four. just see it. You're off the hook this one. <laughs> there you go. No, this, <laughs> this one. one you're this off one. the Thanks, hook. Go buddy. ahead. Appreciate it. I'll just set two. Go ahead. Uh, I'll allow it. Draw. Stand by me. Blasters in Oh, here. you're right. Thank you. Oop. Okay. We're good. We're chilling. I'll use title in the graveyard. I'll banish the blue eyes and the penguin soldier. Uh, Yeah, that's fine. Surprisingly a bit low on dragons. At least in the well, graves, yeah, you stopped my future fusion, which would have given me... A billion more. That's that the last, was last game, last oh, game buddy. What uh, are you I'm talking so sorry. about? Sorry, I'm just so used to winning. It's just so every every every, <laughs> every game's a dream, bro. Let's see here. What do you got here? You got Gozens in this deck. You got Torrentials in this deck. You probably want to wait for me to commit a second one. So I mean, I could just play it slow and like win the game. Like I don't think you have. You're up against ten total cards or something like that. Somewhere around that number. Like I don't I don't know if you beat me. Let's just go battle. I'll go twenty six. I'll take it. Main two. I'll set one. I'll set two. Go. Got everything. Uh, I will match you. Uh, end phase, I'll just, Titles I'll just back in hand. that one. All right. Draw. Oh, this is in hand. Um, okay. I will banish a blue eyes from my hand and this white stone from graveyard to special summon title. He's back. Yep. Battle. Game. I'll compulse him. Not great. I, I don't care about that. That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> All right. It's a hand. I got to live. I got to live. Main two. I do not give a fuck if you do anything. I will just set and I'll just pass. Go. Sure. <laughs> nope. Didn't see anything. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Could be anything. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I'll draw. Yep. Stand by main. I'll start with Raigeki break. Oh, my God. That's Raigeki break. I swear it is. <laughs> <laughs> That's Raigeki break. I will pitch this title from my hand. 
And uh, I'll go for... The, uh, let's roll for it. Let me roll. One, two, three, four. Two. We'll go for middle. <laughs> Shocker. <laughs> what could it be? I, well, come on, man. I didn't want to just pop it knowing what it was. I didn't want to be <laughs> like that. All right. Um, I'll do another Raigeki break. And I'll pitch uh, this time. We'll go... We'll go blaster from the hand, and uh, we'll roll sure. one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. So first one. Hey, all three of them <laughs> gone. Uh, I think you have zero outs to this title or blaster now. Uh, I will use blaster. I'll banish title and a stream from my hand, and I'll summon back blaster, and then I'll trigger stream. I mean, it's not a star stream. You mean uh, title. title. Yeah, you know, title. Yep. Okay. Yep. Uh, add a water. I'll just add stream from deck to hand. Mm-hmm. I will go battle and try to clean it out. You got it. Yeah. The compulses. Nothing I, I can do. I had all these in the graveyard. I mean, in the back row, too, after that yeah. super rejuve draw. I felt completely safe against anything after I got that yeah. rejuve for four. It sucks. It's the fucking... The su well, I mean, granted, it wasn't the super rejuve initially. It was my first misplay with uh, forgetting Penguin Soldier was in your deck. I could have easily taken care of that and uh, not had to worry. But then the super rejuves, like, once those get going, you just get to sculpt your hand perfectly that it doesn't even matter. Uh, so... It is what it is. I can't really be too upset to lose to like what's arguably the most broken deck in existence. It so is, and I, I got are. really that torrential lucky. would have been nice too. I got three out of the four dragon rulers, so I mean, like, I, it was nothing I could reroll. I thought it was good enough. I only didn't get Redox, and I, I think Redox, the hero from season one, yeah, yeah. not here. But honestly, I think Redox, in in retrospect, for looking at the entire dragon rulers as an archetype in themselves, it's the one that has like the least synergy with the rest of them because Title can dump eh, the other. Monster dragon Reborn's rulers. pretty good. Reborn's to be fair. like okay, but like Tempest gets the other dragon rulers. Title does too, and then Blasters removal. Like those are all I think yeah. way better than a Reborn. How how many of each did you get? One, just one. Okay. Humble one. All right. I got a lot of babies though. I did get all the babies to uh to mess around with. What about you? What about you? How'd you do? That's it's funny. Okay, so this is gonna be an interesting debate in the comments, so I can't wait for the uh the algorithm to love this. So I for my first I actually used a redoer ticket. Oh no, uh, no, 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 no. I didn't you know, I didn't use a redoer ticket. Oh, I didn't. Goodness, so goodness. here's why. That's even more believable. Here's why. All right, well, <laughs> my <laughs> my my opening was I pulled I shit you not, I pulled four copies of title in my first opening. Holy fuck. Okay, yeah. But just four copies of Titan. No other rulers. No Blaster, no Redox, no uh, Tempest. Are we playing Mermail? The problem <laughs> is, I also pulled double Lead Yoke. Oh. And so, I also pulled the full core of Batland Boxer stuff. Okay. Only two Switch Hitter, which kind of sucks. So, that was all the more reason when you Penguin Soldiered me, I was completely screwed. Yeah. Because I lost, like, my follow-up play, too. I didn't have a third one. Why anywhere. did you dump the Switch Hitter? Uh, so, well, I'll get to that in a second. Okay. Um. So... I, I sat there, and Sam can attest to this. I sat there for like 15 minutes because I'm like, I could respin, get like worse than this. I could get like no dragon rulers again and not get double lead yoke. Uh, and so I respun for fun. Like I, I, I locked it in. I kept my double lead yoke because I'm like, you know what? I have like a solid boxer deck. I could just not get any rulers. There's 20 rares in the set. It's possible. My respin, unfortunately, was actually better than your bare basic dragon. Really? Pool. What did you Because you said you got one of each. One of each except I Redox. Got, yeah, I also didn't pull Redox, but I think I got two Tempest, two Tidal, and one Blaster in the other opening. Ooh, bro. Uh, <laughs> so... But I pulled no lead yoke. Yeah. So like, it's like, it's a tough call to make, right? I think if I didn't pull any lead yoke, I would have respawned 100%. But like the fact that I had a guaranteed, like something I could play with the deck, I, I respawned another 24 off camera just to see. I pulled one Redox and one Tempest. So it's that isn't playable the place. for I think it's like, I think yeah. if you pull like at least two rollers, it's average. If you pull like above two of different names, like... You're living large. I think, like, after my first right. spin, I was like, I really don't want to be in a spot where I just get, like you, like, one dragon ruler, and then I'm like, oh, I got to keep it. So I was like, I think yeah. it's pretty good. I I think I got the upper end then, because I also, along with my rulers, I did get two lead doke as well. So uh, Okay. But I, I mean, that's annoying. Yeah, but I think my <laughs> commons are way out of whack. Like, I think I have two two of the uh, the head boxer guy, the guy that dumps. I don't even know. If I, yeah, yeah, I don't even know how many glass jaw I have. I think I was really struggling okay. with the commons from there. But uh, okay, so it, you might have it on the table, but it might be janky. Mm -hmm. So the reason I sent the second switch hitters was I was thinking that if I 
go, if I keep that lead yoke on the field that I summoned, if I detach the glass off, you tried to destroy it anyway, I get the switch hitter back to hand without having to detach the other switch hitter first. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Uh, so it allowed me to just be even more aggressive because I was trying to rush you down. I had this Gozen match and funny enough, Levavel Chain's fire. So <laughs> yeah. I could have just kept that under <laughs> it keep too. Keep going. Yeah, that's funny. Uh, yeah. So if you didn't have removal for it and it got to that state, I could have just rushed you down in a couple turns and just like not cared. I was trying to just have as many ways to pre because I figured you had compulses. I figured you had some ways to deal with a lead yoke post board and so i wanted to just keep bringing it out to make it just difficult for you to play uh but unfortunately it just didn't pan out that yeah way, the game way. one i had like almost besides big eye which great out the lead yoke i have right out. zero other yeah. outs to lead yoke like i have to beat through it manually through battle and stuff like that but in the side deck yeah like like you saw the penguin soldiers and the compulses these were meant for things like ophion uh, because that's a deck I... But I totally, they also work for Ledgeoke, they work for Led Yoke too. Yeah, yeah. So, so it happened yeah. to be... Like, the, sad, the sad thing, too, with Compulse is that, like, you have infestation for uh, protecting mm -hmm. Ophion with Compulse, but uh, sadly, there's no way to protect it. I need to play, like, seven tools or some shit for that, mm -hmm. uh, which is unfortunate. I, did, I had Kaikus for you, too. I just, like, didn't see, like, any of the... Si I had Kaiser Coliseums. Ooh, like, I was ooh. trying to bring this as much as I could against you, but uh, just didn't see it, nor did I see ways to make Led Yoke. But that's this deck, right, at the end of the day. Uh, it does have consistency issues because there's not that many monsters. That's why I was playing stuff like Photon Thrasher to be able to have some extra plays. Um, but it kind of lives or dies by the back row and if I'm able to slow you down and uh, whether or not you have the outs. And uh, again, with Super Rejuve, there, there's really not much you could do. I just kind of had to hope you didn't draw Super Rejuve. Yeah, kind of unfortunate. I saw multiples of them every single time too. That's where that's where yeah. this deck really starts to get insane. Like after game one or two, like... I obviously lost game one, but you saw me draw like 12 cards off a of Super Rejuve, and yeah. I can discard as many as I want. It just doesn't matter. It's 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 really, you can see why the card got banned like almost immediately, right? Yeah. Like, it's pretty yeah. good. No, it, it, it just sucks because it's like, I felt like pre-Super Rejuve all three games, I felt like I actually had a pretty good shot. And then after those resolved, it was game over because you just have the perfect hand to beat whatever I have on the field. I think that's so. what a lot of other people but would that's say the back then. A lot of people would say like Super Rejuve is the one thing where if both players have it in the mirror match, like okay, you're having a good time, but if one person has it, they've already seen, like, 80% of their deck, and uh, you're up against vanities and all the good stuff, too. It's really tough. Yeah, yeah. Um, but other than that, I think I also pulled Gauntlet Launcher in my pulls, which is kind of cool. Like, good rank six, mm -hmm. uh, if we ever have a build. I think I pulled two Constellar Omega randomly, so if I ever play a light deck, that's pretty good. I ended up good. getting Omega, too. I also um, got Sombre, so... <laughs> you know, oh, if I cool. ever got some yeah, good for the Constellar, Constellar cards, deck, right? you can't play. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that in my second pool, uh, I also got Kirky on, Ooh, so I was kind of mad Kirky about that because I was like, that would have been sick. Yeah. But yeah. All right. What was your Take wheel? Let's Take hear it. Take a breath. This week was super tame. I ended up getting the rare slot on the wheel, so had to take oh, a super rare God. from the set. I think I just ended up picking up a Seraph Knight, which funny enough, I didn't get in my original opening. That's hilarious, yeah. uh, but that's also huge for you as well. Now, the funny thing is the rare slot next week is actually terrifying because that means it you is. can actually pick the up a Redox or another Dragon Ruler. next week is really, really good, I think. No matter what I get on it, I think yeah. I'm going to be happy. So Good games, good buddy. Games, good doors, games. Good games. So guys, that's going to wrap it up for another video. I really hope you all enjoyed. Let's go ahead and shout out the patrons for all of their continued support. So shout outs to Shadow1317, Tim00x3, MBT Play Medulce, Moto, Cameron L. Smith, Pony Stark, The Synchro Guy, Dan the Man Hoban, Draconic, Little Fade Leaf, Jordan Coons, Dylan Hunter, Dalton, Cody Bretz, Extremely Vulgar Man, Brody Eastwood, Flannel Daddy, Twinkle Muncher, Matthew Brady. I've tried reading cards before. It was horrible, and my guinea pigs had to get me therapy. Helios515, Cheeks McLapperty, Stolfin Amethyst, Wonder Waffle, MBT Cancel Bio Community Soon, Cancel Bio Committee soon, cancel by all players soon. Uncle Brian of Stardust, Nicholas Carpenter, Corvain, Peyton McGrath, and Candyman, 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 Candyman. Thank you all so much for watching, and we will see you next time.